This might be the perfect loafer. Welcome to my channel. My name is James and I like clothes and well-made things. And last week I had to go to a black tie wedding. And like anything that I do, I went down this rabbit hole of research and I ended up falling in love with four pairs of like tuxedo-esque shoes. I wanted to get something that I could dress up, but then I could really dress down and wear for multiple occasions because I don't wear a lot of tuxedos and I'm not wearing it all the time. So I wanted to get my cost per wear out of these and I I definitely think I found that. The first pair of shoes that I was really interested in were a pair of Carmina Hole Cut Oxfords and they were in the Shell Cordovan but I felt like they were just going to be a little too formal for something outside of wearing a tuxedo or a suit. The second pair was a pair that I actually really wanted and those were the Rolling Dub Trio. They had these beautiful slip-on kind of ballerina shoes and I thought they were perfect because they felt very similar to an opera pump. However, I just didn't think they were formal enough. They had a kind of a matte finish and I didn't want to put like a polish on them. And then the third pair was was a pair of Staffa slippers. Those were absolutely perfect. I wanted to wear them, I wanted to buy them, but a few people talked me off the ledge and they were a bit out of my price range. So I ended up going with these. These are the Morha's Belgian Loafer in a deer skin black. And when I say that this is the perfect loafer, I truly believe that. This is a loafer that I could dress up with a tuxedo, but then I can wear Patagonia shorts and be perfectly fine with that. But before I get into the loafer, let's get into a little bit of history of Morha's. They are a relatively new company established in 2017 by a gentleman named Hendrik Berg. He was originally born in Spain and then at about 13 years old, ended up going back to his mother's motherland and has lived there for a number of years as well. Morehaus as a brand is a direct to consumer company. They focus on really well-made shoes and they partner with beautiful factories that have been doing this kind of product for years. They're focusing on like Goodyear welted stuff, is going to be done in Spain and Portugal that they're going to do. That's what they're known for doing. That's going to be what they're good at doing and everything like that. And then other things are going to be done in Italy where they're known for that and they're good. At, they're good at that kind of stuff. These loafers are, like I said, a black deerskin upper with a black lining and a full leather bottom. They are a stacked leather heel with brass rivets in the heel as well. The construction of the shoe, this is probably the only thing that people will say that they don't love about them, is they are a Blake stitch construction, which I know certain people aren't necessarily gonna be in love with that construction, but I think this is really appropriate for this type of shoe. You can wear it, it's super thin, it's super easy, and they were comfortable right out of the box, and I have been in love with them since the day that I started wearing them. So Morehouse itself, you can only purchase online. I ended up going on their website and ended up getting them. I did expedited shipment shipping because I was a little worried on time, but they typically come in about a week and the customer service has been extremely good. Every time I've had any issues or something like that, they emailed promptly back. And I did have a little bit of an issue, nothing that they did, just more something that was my issue. I ended up going with half a size bigger than I should. These actually run extremely big. I typically wear a seven Viberg. I went with a six and a half in these. They do recommend actually going a half a size down, but unfortunately at the time they didn't have the six and a half that I needed. And yes, I know I've got little feet. They didn't have it and I put it on and it was it was gonna to be too big. I wasn't gonna be able to wear it and enjoy it the way that I wanted. So I ended up just going through the process and returning them. They got them back in a few days and then I exchanged it and got these back. And I'm very happy. The six and a half fits me perfectly. They are extremely comfortable and I'm very happy with them. The packaging with them is actually pretty cool. They do give you a pretty heavy size box. I never really keep the box, but whatever. And then they come with this really pretty dust bags that I will be using. The reason why I think these are the most versatile and probably my favorite and best loafers that I own currently is for a number of different reasons. When I was trying on the tuxes and I was trying on clothes, there were a number of pairs of loafers that I had that just were not formal enough and I felt like kind of out of place with them. Also, they were either too chunky or they were too small. These shoes cover all of that. They're enough of a shine where I can wear them with some satin or, or a tuxedo 
or something like that. But then they are also more like a like a small loafer kind of boat shoes feel where I can wear it with a light, easy pair of shorts. They are perfect. I've worn them now three or four times, once with the tuxedo and then two just unlined with no socks or anything like that. They're comfortable day in and day out. And I am very happy that I've gotten these. In regards to price, a number of the things that I was looking at really brought into the factor of I bought these. I think at the time of this video, they actually did have a price increase. They are now $350. When I bought them, I believe they were $299 or $290 or something along those lines. And to me at that point, I was like, okay, cool. The Carminas are $850, the Rolling Dub Trios are $400, and the Stofa ones are going to be $600. This was like the perfect equilibrium where I could wear them, I can enjoy them, and I do think even at the 350 range, they are worth that price. If you go and look at like traditional Belgian loafers from like the New York boutique, they're like in the six, seven range. And if you go and you go to, I always screw up the name, it's like Boudalon and something, they are a similar price point, maybe slightly more expensive than those. So I think these are an appropriate price point. And for a deer hide, definitely worth the money and something that I think is very, very worth it. Now let's get into how I would style this shoe. And like I was saying, there are a number of different ways that you can style this shoe. For me personally, I think you can go super high and you can go super low in it. For me, I've worn a black tuxedo. I got a Ralph Lauren tuxedo with a really beautiful shawl collar and it was super appropriate for that. I did forget to take pictures of the wedding. However, I'll do like a video of me wearing it as well. And then I have been wearing it with just on the hotter days, a pair of Patagonia black baggies and a just regular crew neck similar to the one I have and they look perfect as well they're like a perfect like boat shoe shoe to wear for many many different situations and then obviously we'll go into that in between as well I have tried it on with like a light wash blue denim my lee denim that I absolutely love and those look great as well with just like an oxford and just perfect that way or you can go with a darker denim and kind of get with like a more preppy vibe with like a hoodie or something along those lines these fit and look amazing and I'm super happy that I have gotten them. I was really tough on Morha's my first video and I'm glad that I went back to the well because I do think it is very worth purchasing. But that's all I have to say about this loafer. Let me know if you agree or disagree, but thank you for coming everyone. Have a great day and we'll chat soon.